Hi, this is Marcel Slinzi. I'm co-founder of the Biz Bootcamp, and I'm here in, on a beautiful day in London, in Trafalgar Square, um, to actually make the rubber meet the road. Because uh, from this very place, from Westminster and th this whole area, government spoke about big society, and about the fact that big society is about regular people making things happen for the greater good. So I'm doing my thing with the, with the Biz Bootcamp, and I'm here to meet Mike Southern, who is the beer mat entrepreneur, and he happens to be my mentor. So let's find out what he has to say about the challenges for businesses that are starting up right now. Hi, Mike. So um, we just wanted to get your thoughts on what you think is um, on the road ahead for people who are starting up businesses, uh, young entrepreneurs right now. Well, we're just coming out of a recession. I mean, as we speak, there's talk of a double dip, but uh, that may happen in September, October. But certainly, by the time we get to next March of 2012, we'll be out of the recession. And certainly for entrepreneurs, a recession is actually a very good time to start a business because things and people are cheap if you've got those new ideas. So my advice would be, now's a really excellent time for people to think about not even just starting a business, but becoming self-employed. Okay. And so what are the, some of the challenges that you think they'll be facing, uh, specifically as they start up their businesses now? Well, the biggest challenge is always getting money out of people, which is you have an idea for a business and you've got to actually get some money out of people because that's a, that's a good business when they give you money for your products and services. And my advice is always to ask for money from your friends first. And you're talking about cash here. Because if your friends won't buy something, I don't think anybody else will. But if they will buy it, then maybe their friends will buy it. So you have an idea for something and you just ask your friends, if I did this, would you give me any money? That's literally how easy it is to start. Okay. And um, so what are some other strategies you think could help, um, help you know, some of the young people who are starting and trying to get some money? Well, what we put on our original beer mat, on the, the front of our beer mat entrepreneur book, was, was three things that you need to, to start a business. And even before you get to a customer, the things like your elevator pitch that you need to develop, and also finding a mentor is very powerful. So if I cover those two. An elevator pitch is all about, you know, what is it you're going to be doing? And it starts with, where's, where's the pain or problem that you're going to solve? So you plan to solve that problem. And the next one is your premise of your business, what you're going to do. So there's a problem, you're going to solve it. Then it's about you. You're the people in the business. So why are you qualified to help people solve those problems? Then it's about getting a customer. So you put all that together. We sell on a beer mat. It could be a napkin. It's a conversation you have in a pub or a club or a, a restaurant. Then what's very powerful is if you then ask a mentor. So you haven't spent any money yet. You haven't started a business. You haven't you know, gone into debt or anything. Find a mentor and get them to look at your idea. And there'll give you two types of advice. One is better ideas on how to do stuff, but also who to speak to. Maybe they'll find you a customer. Because mentoring is very simple at the basic level. It's basically somebody you know, you think has got some good advice, and you just say, can I buy your coffee or buy your drink? And they'll see you and they'll give you free advice, because in my model, mentoring is always free. And then if they'll see you again, then the mentoring's working. So a mentor's a very good person to bounce ideas off, but particularly to get connections, especially without that elusive first customer. So mentoring is very powerful. And if there's any older people like me watching, being a mentor is incredibly rewarding. I mean, first you get the chance to show off about how clever you are. And also you get to help people, which is good. But the crucial thing about mentoring, if you're, if you're a mentor like I am, is that you always learn more than the mentee does in the process. So Marcel, you might ask me a question, how do I do that? And I think, mm, how do you do that? Or who should I speak to about this? And I think, mm, I've got to think about it. I'm learning all the time. So you learn more as a mentor than the mentee does. That's why the whole process is like a golden circle. The mentee obviously gets benefits, advice, and connections, and the mentor learns more in the process and does a good thing and helps the universe generally. So what's the one piece of, I guess, golden nugget gem advice that you would give to people who are looking at starting up a business right now? Find a mentor. If it's somebody you know, like it could be a teacher at your school, it could be a family friend, somebody who maybe knows you personally, they'll say, you know, here's what you're good at and what you're bad at. You know, some people are quite extrovert like me, so obviously, you know, selling is, is, is kind of thing that I do, going out and talking to people. Other people are more shy, they deliver products. Good, good idea is to get a combination of both. Like I've always got rich when I've worked with what we call a mechanic, somebody actually delivers on the promises I make. So understanding yourself, building a little bit of a team, and it's just you and one other person, a foil as we call it, somebody with the opposite set of skills, having a chat with a mentor, then crucially always one member of your team, the, the more extrovert one, always asking people, so if we did that for you, would you give us any money? See what happens. Always ask for money. It's hard for some people. Like you're more of a mechanic profile, mm -hmm. so you find that a bit shocking. Me, I'm always asking people for money, and you know, sometimes it works. Well, thank you for that. I also, from our conversation earlier on, you did mention the fact that um, there's like a combination of in-person mentoring, but also online mentoring through a service that you you've, you've 
you've set up? Absolutely. I mean, in an ideal world, you'd be speaking to somebody experienced, uh, perhaps myself or somebody else, on a face-to-face basis. That's always good to have. But um, some years ago, I thought, well, you know, I can't mentor you know hundreds of thousands of people. So, in association with a very good friend of mine, someone I've known for over twenty-five years, a guy called Tony Hayward, uh, we've put together, or well, he's put together, I ought to say, a site called You Do. That's You Do dot Biz. Y double O D double O dot Biz. Now, this is a completely free site. It's got videos on it, quizzes. It's like an online mentoring system. So you can go on there, and there's not just me. There's eighty subject matter experts in every aspect of business, and it's all completely free. So my advice is get a, a face-to-face mentor who can give you advice and local advice and so on. But also have a look at the you do.biz site because there's lots of free mentoring available on there as well. Okay. Thank you so much for, for these few minutes that are just filled with information, gems and stuff that was going to change people's lives forever as long as they actually put it into practice. Well, that's it. You've got to get out there and do it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you.